Today is a dark day for Britain indeed because not only has the leader of a pro-British political movement, Nigel Farage, been denied basic banking services, but also our very own RAF, the Royal Air Force, have been found guilty in an inquiry of discriminating against white men. I feel really sorry for the brave men and women who died Uh, in World War II, fighting the Nazis as members of the Royal Air Force. They gave everything, they sacrificed everything, so that Great Britain can continue to be a free and democratic society. Whereas today, it's anything but. Now, the new head of the RAF, Air Chief Marshal Sir Richard Knighton, said that he apologised unreservedly to all those affected, including the former head of recruitment, who was forced to resign rather than implement an order she believed correctly to be unlawful and fair play to her. She should be compensated uh, to the tune of millions for this, I do believe, because there was someone there with a conscience and a backbone and refused point blank to implement a a clearly anti-Caucasian woke policy. And they call it positive discrimination, for heaven's sake. Discrimination is discrimination. There's nothing positive about it whatsoever. Now, sadly, despite these findings... None of the RAF senior leadership, including his predecessor, Air Chief Marshal Sir Mike Wigston, will face any kind of sanction because they sanctioned all this. They gave the thumbs up, they gave the go-ahead to discriminate against uh, Caucasian British people, recruits, from having careers in the RAF. Instead, they recruited people purely on the colour of their skin rather than merit, and that's really shameful. That's the thing with positive uh, discrimination. You are cutting your nose off to spite your face, all in the name of multiculturalism, diversity, inclusivity, and to pander to extremist left-wing movements that you are as woke as they come. But as they say, go woke, go broke. It's also transpired during this inquiry that the RAF really did turn away far more qualified Caucasian British people for roles within the RAF than people who tick boxes, just for the sake of it, really. I mean, that's just stupid, isn't it? But there really should be repercussions uh, here towards the people who are in charge at the time, especially the former Air Chief Marshal. And people need to know racism against white people is just as intolerable as racism against anyone else. How dare the RAF do this? This is literally pissing on the memory of every Caucasian British RAF pilot and soldier who gave their lives, and not in order for Britain to turn out like this. They didn't put their lives on the line against the Nazis to see future generations of British people discriminated against by their own uh, armed forces. It's despicable. It really is a, a shameful stain on the RAF. And that's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Until the next time, Roger Trout.